Ever wanted to run macOS apps or experience the macOS operating system right from your Windows PC? Today, I'll walk you through how to install macOS on your Windows machine using Hyper-V. It's a great way to test macOS software or just explore the operating system without needing a separate Mac. Let's dive in. Hyper-V is a built-in virtualization feature available on Windows 10 or 11 Pro and Enterprise editions. To begin, open your control panel. Navigate to Programs, then Programs and Features, and click Turn Windows Features on or off. In the Windows Features window, click the box next to Hyper-V. Ensure both Hyper-V management tools and Hyper-V platform are selected. Click OK. Windows will now install the required components. Once completed, restart your computer. After the restart, Hyper-V will be ready to use. Hyper-V doesn't directly support macOS installation out of the box. macOS requires a UEFI firmware environment to boot and run. We'll emulate the UEFI environment on Hyper-V. You can download the necessary UEFI file from this GitHub page. We also need a macOS recovery image. You can use a tool called OpenCore to download it. Get OpenCore from this GitHub page. Once you have both the UEFI file and OpenCore downloaded, extract them. On your C drive, create a new folder and name it macOS. Go to your extracted UEFI folder. You'll find a pre-configured UEFI virtual hard drive here. Copy this file and paste it into the macOS folder you just created. Double click on the UEFI drive to open it. Next, we'll download the macOS recovery image. You'll need Python installed on your computer for this as it's required to run a script that downloads the macOS recovery file. You can easily install Python from the Microsoft Store. Once Python is installed, open the Open Core folder and navigate to Utilities folder. Inside, locate the macOS recovery folder and open it. You'll find a Python file named macosrecovery.py. This command line tool will help us download the macOS recovery image. Right click on the empty space within the macOS recovery folder and choose open in terminal. The commands for downloading different macOS versions vary. To find the appropriate command for your desired macOS version, refer to this page. It lists command for all the macOS versions, from macOS Leon 10.7 to macOS 14 Sonoma. In this example, we'll install macOS 14 Sonoma on Hyper-V, so we'll copy this command. Please remember, to run macOS Sonoma smoothly on Hyper-V, your host computer should ideally have 16GB of RAM and a powerful CPU. If your system doesn't meet these requirements, consider installing an older macOS version like macOS Big Sur or Catalina. Paste the copied command into the terminal and press enter. This will start downloading the macOS Sonoma recovery file. Once the download is complete, you'll find a new folder named com.apple.recovery.boot in the same open code directory. Inside this folder, you will see the downloaded basesystem.dmg file. These two files are crucial for booting and installing macOS. Copy the entire com.apple.recovery.boot folder. Navigate to the macOS folder on your C drive. Paste the recovery folder inside the UEFI drive. 
After pasting, make sure to safely eject the UEFI drive. We are now done with the preparations. Let's create the macOS virtual machine. Open Hyper-V Manager on your computer. Click on New to start creating a new virtual machine. Then click on Virtual Machine. When the new virtual machine wizard appears, click Next. Give your virtual machine a name, for example macOS Sonoma. Tick the box Store Virtual Machine in a different location. Click on Browse and select the macOS folder you created on your C drive. Click Next. Select Generation 2. Allocate RAM to the virtual machine. We recommend at least 4 GB. Configure networking by selecting default switch. Create a virtual hard disk allocating at least 50 GB of space. Finally, choose to install an operating system later and click finish. This will create the virtual machine we need for macOS. Once the virtual machine is created, we need to configure it specifically for macOS. Right click on the virtual machine in Hyper-V Manager and select settings. Then make the following changes. In the Securities tab, uncheck Enable Secure Boot. In the Integration Services tab, ensure all the options are checked. In the Checkpoints tab, disable checkpoints. Next, we'll attach the UEFI virtual hard drive we prepared earlier. Click on SCSI controller. Select hard drive. Then click on Add. Click on Browser. Select the UEFI drive and add it. Click Apply. The UEFI drive contains the bootloader and the essential EFI files responsible for starting the macOS installations and loading the operating system. Go to the Firmware tab. Use the Move Up button to position the UEFI drive at the top. Keep the macOS hard drive right below it. Finally, click on Apply and close the window. Our virtual machine is now prepared to boot macOS. Let's start the installation process. Right click on the virtual machine in the Hyper-V Manager and select Connect. Click Start. The macOS installer should now boot up. Follow the on-screen instructions to install macOS on your virtual machine. The installation process may take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, so be patient. Once the installation is complete, you will be welcomed by the macOS setup screen. Proceed through the macOS setup process to personalize your new macOS environment. Congratulations, you have successfully installed macOS on your Windows PC using Hyper-V. Remember, running macOS in a virtual machine might not be as performant as on a native Mac, especially for resource-intensive tasks. Enjoy exploring and experimenting with macOS on your Windows machine. If you found this guide helpful, consider sharing it with others who might be interested.
If you have any questions or queries or need any further assistance, feel free to ask. Happy macOSing on Windows.